This is our midweek reflection shared with you on Friday, November 25th, instead of our usual Wednesday, because I wanted to wait for this first Sunday of Advent, uh, the beginning of Advent reflection, until after Thanksgiving. So excited about our season of Advent, of preparation for the coming of the Christ child uh, this year at Calvary Moravian Church, and hope that you'll take time to worship with us in person or perhaps uh, using our uh, live streaming Facebook worship opportunities or YouTube. We are using the um, beautiful poetry, liturgies, artwork, and so much more from our friends at Sanctified Art. We have used uh, their wonderful materials before, and the theme that they have created this year is called From Generation to Generation. It's taken from Mary's Song of Praise from the Gospel of Luke, where she says, Surely God has heard me from generation to generation, uh, implying that God hears us in Mary's generation, and God continues to hear and live and be within the peoples in each generation. We'll see some artwork and hear some stories from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 1, uh, the very long genealogy of Jesus, where we will explore some of those characters as displayed in this artwork here. Uh, we'll hear about Tamar, um, one who had to disguise herself as something she was not in order to prove righteousness. We'll hear about Ruth, the foreigner, and also uh, lots of other people who were sometimes good, sometimes bad, sometimes in between, sometimes tricksters, but God has used them and they were open to be used by God. Um, that God is speaking to us, uh, flawed human beings, wherever we are in our lives, um, and we can be open uh, to this voice of God. So the artwork displays um, some of those characters uh, that are mentioned in Matthew's uh, genealogy here. But first, let's meditate upon a prayer that was written through the sanctified art from generation to generation. It's by the Reverend Sarah Speed, and I use it with permission here. This prayer, uh, again, for this first Sunday, first week of Advent, there's room for every story and it's entitled, Room. I ask God, what about my fingernail biting habit or the way I leave all the cabinets open in the kitchen? What about the way I can be so dramatic, drumming up a fight only to hand out apologies like souvenirs? What about the way I second-guess myself, let shame drive or stay quiet when I have something to say? What about the way I chase compliments like a dog with a bone? What about the doubt or the fact that I am terrible at prayer and I cannot help but yawn during church? What about, what about, what about? My baggage might be too big for the van. But then, God called me by my first and middle name, which always means business, and said, Who told you that you were too much? Sugar, there's so much room for you here. And so that's when I grabbed a seat and we hit the road, and I knew right then that the rumors were true. There is room. There is room. There is room. Amen. May we continue to see and find and ask where God is calling us in our generation and believe there's room for every story. May God add a blessing to this first week of Advent. <laughs>